Okay, so we have connected to the oscilloscope via the web package that is built into it. So that's just the IP address there that the scope has been set to. And I've manually set the IP address on this laptop. And this is the welcome screen that it comes up with as soon as you hit that IP address. So I'll have a look at instrument control. Uh, that was quick, wasn't it? Okay, so, so this time I've got the computer running the web server plugged into the LAN port on the scope. So again, we'll do same signal applied from the built-in waveform generator onto channel one of the oscilloscope. You can see it's on 75 kilohertz there. So I've got a mouse controlling the computer at this moment in time. And so we'll have a look. Let's change it. Change you back to 50 kilohertz. Okay. So you can see there is a little bit of a lag between the computer and scope. Um, put it to one side. And we use this is the actual mouse now plugged into the oscilloscope and we'll see yeah yeah some sort of delay but interesting that you can still use the controls on the oscilloscope even though you're plugged into the laptop unless there's a setting i've missed somewhere let's see let's add some measurements in uh, Table. Yeah, so there's just that little lag between the scope and the computer, but that wasn't evident when we were uh, plugged into the HDMI port. Be interested to play the video back and see what the uh, discrepancy is between uh, these readings that are fluctuating a little bit. But yeah, okay, That's, uh, it does work. It's not too bad. It's just a little bit of delay. 